Hello everyone, welcome back to Larry and Amy's Kitchen. Today we're going to try a new recipe that we've never fixed before. It's uh, fairly simple, doesn't require a whole lot of ingredients, and uh, I'm hoping you'll try it. It's going to be called a Cheesy Ranch Chicken Pasta. So, the first thing that we're going to need to do and uh, I don't know if you can hear our birds in the background, but they're very excited about, uh, <laughs> I guess, what we're going to be fixing. But uh, the first thing you're going to need, and these quantities you can fluctuate. You don't have to use exactly what the recipe calls, because I know I'm not going to in some of these items. But the first thing you're going to need is a couple of cups of shredded cooked chicken, which I've got right here in the bowl. And then to that, <clears throat> you're going to add one of these packets of original ranch seasoning. These are one ounce packets. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to sprinkle that in there, just like that. I don't know if you've never tried the ranch seasoning on meats. It really does add a nice flavor a different type of flavor to your your meat chicken whatever it is that you're uh, you're fixing and it's so simple to do you can find these in your grocery store in single packets double packets and i think i bought a box the other day that had four packets in it and you can use it for just about anything you can uh, think of all right so that's going to be our our chicken mixture to go in the uh, pot in a few minutes. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to add some chicken broth. And uh, what I'm going to do is the original recipe calls for about, I think, three and a half cups of chicken broth. Well, I'm going to make a little bit more than that than what the recipe calls for. So, I've got one container here of Swanson chicken broth and if I'm not mistaken it is four cups so we're going to use that we're going to pour it right into our pot here this will be our liquid base and I've got a partial box of chicken broth here too which is probably in at least another cup, if not two. Like I say, you don't have to be exact. That looks like it was probably just a little more, or about a cup. So we got at least five cups of chicken broth. Like I said, you can fluctuate this any way you want. Now, next to the chicken broth, we're going to add the uh, chicken mixture that we just added the... Um, ranch dressing too. We're going to put that in there. Alright. And then uh, next we're going to add the, the noodles. Now I've, uh, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing these right or not. Penay, uh noodles or what have you. Uh, but anyway, the original recipe calls for 8 ounces. This is a 16 ounce box, and I'm going to use the whole box. Because um, I know that we're going to like this. We're going to want to eat more than that little bit that the uh, recipe calls a serving. So, I'm going to take this, pour it right in there. And what we're going to do next is we're going to turn the... Uh, ingredients on I'm going to put it on pretty much high heat for right now and then we're going to stir this up we're going to get bring this mixture to a boil and then we're going to turn it down and let it cook for a, uh, a little while until the noodles are done so what we will do is we will come back in just a few minutes. For you, it'll be just a second or two. 
when these noodles are cooked along with the uh, ranch chicken that we put into the uh, pot and uh, we'll tell you what we need to do next so be right back okay everyone it's been about 15 20 minutes since we put our penne and chicken ranch uh, mixture on to boil the noodles are done so next Two or three easy steps and you're ready to eat. The first thing that we're going to do is add some cream cheese. The original recipe called for four ounces or about a half a bar. I'm going to go ahead and put the whole bar, eight ounces, in there since we're making more noodles uh, or using more noodles than uh, the original recipe calls for. So we're going to put that in there and also when you're doing this recipe you will still have a little bit of chicken broth left over after these noodles are done don't worry about it just uh, mix this stuff all in at least that's what the recipe is telling me so we're going to give this a minute to kind of melt in evenly smells good I'll say that and that's without adding the last of the ingredients so let's get this cream cheese all mixed in together and with the chicken and the noodles the pasta I've got the I just turned the eye back on low I didn't want it to get too cool while I'm trying to melt this stuff here. It's starting to mix in pretty good now. All right. The next part of the recipe calls for about two cups of mild cheddar cheese. I'm going to add a little bit more than that. I've got uh, some left over here in a bag which is probably the equivalent of two cups. Our dog says, when do we eat? <laughs> she ain't barely five pounds and she eats everything that you throw at her. I've never seen such a tiny dog eat so much. All right. I'm going to add, that looks like a good bit, but you know what, we're going to add a little bit more too. Let's try that and see what happens. First thing we're going to do, we're going to mix that up. And I think, uh, okay, yeah, the last item that, that you're going to add to your uh, recipe here is some bacon bits. Now, it calls for about four slices of bacon to be cooked and then cut up well I want more bacon than that especially since we're making more than what the recipe calls for so I think I probably took about a 12 ounce package I uh, baked it in the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 15 minutes however long it took and then I've cut it up into smaller chunks so we're going to add that to it also because I like a lot of bacon and now we're going to mix this all up. Get this all melted and mixed through and through. Now I'm going to be honest with you. If you think about what's in this pot, the chicken with ranch seasoning, the pasta, the cream cheese, the cheddar cheese, and the bacon, what is there not to uh, like? This has got to be good. I have never tried it before. But as this melts, the cheddar cheese is really thickening up the mixture. The, the uh, moisture or chicken broth that was left over in the pot, I'm beginning to see that you uh, won't even be able to tell that there it was... Uh, 
left over or in the pot. Let's mix them right in with all of the ingredients. Oh my goodness, that looks good. So, as I'm stirring this, I'm hoping that some of you will try this recipe. It is so simple. And like I said, you can adjust the quantities to however you want to. Now, I haven't tasted this yet, so I don't know if you're going to want to put some salt, pepper, garlic, anything like that on it. The recipe didn't call for it, but you know what? This is where you can do anything you want. That sure looks good. So I'm going to ask if you do make this to leave us a comment and let us know what you think about it. If you haven't subscribed to our videos, please do so. We're picking up new subscribers every day and we'd like to share everything that we do. We're not experts by no means. We just we just like to have a, or something different to eat once in a while rather than the same old thing. So if you would, give us a like, subscribe, share it with your friends, leave us a comment. Now, let's, before we go, let's take a plate here and let's get a big old spoonful or two on the plate. This is so creamy with the bacon and the chicken. Like I said, I know we like to eat a little bit more than those regular servings call for. So, there you have it. Now, if you can serve a biscuit, a cracker, if you prefer some kind of a bread to go with it. And if you don't, that's fine. But give this a try. It sure does look good. And we will be waiting to hear your response. Thank you so much for watching. And stay tuned. We'll have another video coming out pretty soon.